HighFreePercussionLessons.com here today to help solve the mystery of timpani head clearing. What is clearing? Well, clearing is having a clear pitch. We all know that timpani are tuned drums with an exact pitch. Um, clearing is to make sure that the drum sounds the same pitch around all points. If this note is a A, this note over here has to ring an A and so on on every point. So you have to tune the lugs so that everything is working together. And if one of them is too high or too low, you may hear the A, but it may not be as clear, hence the term clearing, as if every note was, every lug was tuned to the exact same note. Okay, so it takes practice. You have to know what you're listening for, and you just have to be a little finicky about it. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I use. I'm going to move this drum out of the way here for a second. I just put the head on this drum here. This is a 29 inch Yamaha uh, 6000 series drum, balance action pedal. I put on a uh, Remo Renaissance head with an aluminum insert ring. Uh, fine quality head. I like the way the Renaissance head sounds. A little darker. Uh, other plastic heads to me sound more pingy. Uh, I like the, the depth of sound that the Renaissance heads make. Um, now, clearing the head, you need a timpani key and a drum dial. I've shown you the drum dial before, but here it is again. What this does is gauge the pressure or the tension of any surface that it's touching. So if I put it on my hand, there's the pressure of my hand, whatever it is, 75 or something. But you put this on the head, and here it's just above uh, 78. So I'm going to move this little indicator here to 78. So that's what this lug is reading. And I have the, I have the drum dial, I guess about two inches in from the rim of the bowl. Now I'm going to compare that with every other lug around. Compare this one. That's a good, that's the same. That one's high, okay? So we may have to do something with that one. That's the same. That's the same. That's a little high, so this one's pretty high, this one's just a little bit high, this one's right on, this one's a shade high. So these two are shade high, and that one's pretty high. So let's do this. I'm going to lower, I'm not even listening to the, the sound yet, I just want to make sure that the tension is the same. So I'm going to turn this a quarter turn. The trick is, don't turn too much. Even if it's out a lot, tune by little increments. Don't do it too much or you'll throw the whole thing off. So I just tuned it, I loosened it, a quarter turn, and I'm gonna try it again. Okay, that came down. I'm gonna give it a, another quarter turn, or not even, just a little bit. Push on the head that kind of settles everything. So I pushed on the head. Okay, that is pretty close now. So I did probably a half a turn. This is this is the lug I started with. I'm gonna try that one again. Okay, compare it with this. This one needs to go up just slightly. Okay, so I'm still gonna turn this one down. Just a little bit. Okay, 
So if it's within one of these markings, I'm not going to worry about it because you drive yourself crazy. Now I listen to the head. I hear the, the major note, and this, I tune this to an A. Let me check with my tuning fork. A. I just with the pedal, I want to make sure I'm hearing an A. Okay. A. Now I figured out that with my drum dial, everything is pretty even. There still may be some variances in the pitch, and that's what we're going to try to find now. Take a claw, put it right down in the middle of the head. What that will do is isolate the, well, it will stop the entire head from ringing all at once, and you'll be able to isolate the pitch at each um, lug. I've been using a medium mallet, kind of a medium hard mallet. I'm going to switch to a very hard mallet over here because it's going to isolate the pitch some more, or be able to hear the pitch a little bit better. Hit it once and listen to it. Hit another one. To me, they sounded the same. Now I'm going to come back to the one that I started with. Hit that again. Then I'm going to try another one. Come back to this one. Let me do this one again. This one sounded a little funny. Let's see if I can hear what it's doing. sounds a little high. Remember, I was having trouble with this one with the drum dial. It seems a little high. Well, pitch-wise, it still seems a little high. I'm going to turn it down just a smidgen. That's technical talk for only turning it a little bit. So, that seems closer to me. Now, I know the camera may not pick up the exact pitches. So you're going to have to just try this by yourself with your own drum. So I've done this one, this one, this one, this one. So I always come back to one and compare it. Compare this one at your playing spot with everything else. Listen carefully. Don't play too loudly. exciting to watch, but this is the process that you have to go through. Now to me, they all sound pretty good, so take this off, listen to the head again. It actually sounds pretty clear to me because I uh, found maybe the trouble uh, lug that was over here. After I play on it for a while, because I remember I just put this head on uh, yesterday, so it sat overnight. There's still some adjusting, adjusting going on. Um, so after I play on it some, it's going to shift again. I'm going to have to do this a few times just to make sure the drum settles. Let me show you another technique that I found that I that works, for me anyway. Um, I'm not going to use a really hard mallet, just use a general sounding mallet. And I'm going to play the pit, play the drum, and listen to the sound. Now I'm going to play the drum again, and then I'm going to quickly put my ear very close to one of the lugs and 
hear if it sounds the same. Okay. Try another one that sounds good. And you'll be able to hear if the lug is high or low if you do that quickly. You hear the main resonant pitch of the drum and then quickly isolate the pitch near the lug. And that's another good way of helping you clear the head. Just takes practice. It's not something you can do just like that unless you're lucky. But it all starts with putting the head on well to begin with. Use your drum dial. Make sure everything is as even as possible. Make sure it measures evenly around the bowl. Um, you want to make sure that the drum is in its range. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. So this has been freepercussionlessons.com. We'll see you later.